This is my go-to for uh, as a cervical or shoulder reset. And uh, if someone has any kind of unilateral loading loss to the involved side, so if, if the example today would be right side shoulder pain, neck pain, elbow, wrist, uh, what you're going to look for is a retraction loss. After you, after you retract, you're going to side bend to the same side, and if there's a loss that way versus least uh, more motion or full motion to the opposite side, that often happens because the patient often feels you know, tightness or pain in this side, so they're always trying to stretch it, but they're not really getting a unilateral load. The unilateral load gets to the end range of the cervical facets and causes that healthy and novel perceptive information to get the nerve system and reset the alarm. So if there's a unilateral loading loss, despite them having only shoulder pain, this is the first thing I'll try as a treatment. So you get the patient to retract and pull to the side and make sure they get to end range. If there's any kind of painful stretch here, or if they're just limited in end range, you think they can go further, you can get them to slack by doing a little teapot. They slack the opposite upper trap, or they could even put their arm in an armrest, if passively like that, and they can go a little bit further. So looking at it from the side, you want to make sure that they are pulling into neutral side bending, or even retraction and slight extension. Many patients will leave your clinic saying, hey, that wasn't working, but they're not really pulling in, into, they're not staying in retraction. They're pulling in the slight flexion, which doesn't get that facet approximation or load. And it's that facet approximation that's really the end range that causes more proprioceptive information to reset the alarm in the nervous system. So prescribe that about 10 times an hour and just pre and post test any kind of shoulder test that you would do or functional test uh, and see if that makes a difference.